the same. You have extended cancer, but you've been healed from cancer because you're under a divine mantle. Every time the devil throws something on you, God snatches it right back off. Takes your job and gives you another job. Hallelujah, somebody. Try to kill your children. Try to kill your husband. Try to kill you. Yet you find the power to overcome. It's not the most of because greater is he that is within you. He that is of the world. He says it will be a sad thing for people to walk out of God in 2013 and they figure they got all this by themselves. Then they will find out they, they will start hurting again, sweating again, and the thing that God delivered them from gonna come back. Because when you ran into him, he snatched that to the off. He'll keep you free if you if you promise to praise him. See, Israel never had to fight that balance. All they had to do was obey, and God was sitting in ambush. That's why I encourage you when you come to church, praise Him like you just lost your mind. Because whoever put down the witchcraft for you, they're going to get covered. Cut up by themselves. You can't see your enemies, but God sees your enemies. God knows what the devil trying to do. Your job is just to praise Him. And when you praise Him, He pulls down strongholds. Jesus, he wanted them stopped. 
See, sometimes God will have you trying to stop stuff that He's going to have you promote. You think you're pushing, but the devil, if God's got need for you, you come into him before it's over. With well, Saul was breathing out threats and going in churches and shutting them down and locking folks up. The Bible said, send them to the slaughter. That's willing to murder them. That's so sunbound. But then the Lord Jesus met him over the master's room and shined the light. It's like Uncle Sam say, I want you. And then the thing he wraps up with him, but here he meets the Lord. And the men that were with him heard the voice, but they saw no man. And nobody messed with Saul. He was a big man. He was a little tough man. They knew he was a warrior. But he had been knocked down. Now, I, I, I want to say something positive with this. It ain't always got to be a physical knocking down. But sometimes God's got to, God got to break us, break us down a notch or two. You know, he's got to break us down a little bit to let us know we're not all that. The, the richest man in the world today is not as powerful as he appears to be if he's sick. His everyday thought is, how long do I have left? That matter about how many millions, because he knows if he doesn't live, he can't spend it. He's not taking it with him. So the Lord spoke to Ananias and said, I know you're afraid of this man because he's been beating up folks and putting folks in prison and what have you. But I have chosen him a vessel for my glory. I'm going to shed his eyes down. When the Lord knocked him off of his beast, he blinded him. <laughs> For three days, he could not see. Had to be led around. And while being led around, the Lord was talking to him. That's why when people don't see me in comas, it's either God's will, he'll raise them up, or he's talking to them and straightening things out when they're going through. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I tell you, when people are out like that, you go in the room, watch what you say, because the, the Spirit is the loudest thing about them. And they can pick up, you see, they can pick up more than you think they're hearing. So if you're weeping and crying, they feel that. Don't know? When my sister-in-law was going, and I knew, I knew she was passing, 